Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tanisha's Dental World. Hope you're all doing great. So today we are going to talk about dental amalgam. Just me, we will discuss about low copper amalgam. So amalgam ko on the basis of copper content divide kare. So its two categories will be high copper content and low copper content. In low copper content, copper is like less than six percent. Present and high copper content में आगे उसकी two types होती है admixed and single composition alloy. So in this video we are discussing about low copper content alloy. So today we are going to talk about low copper alloys. Firstly we'll talk about a composition. Then we'll talk about setting reaction. So in low copper content four चीजें हमेशा present होती है that is firstly we have silver. then we have a uh, tin then we have a uh, copper then we have zinc ab ye kis composition mein present hogi uh, silver it is present 70% tin it is present six, uh, 26% copper it is present 3% uh, so low copper content hai to isme uh, uh, copper it is always present like less than 6% एंड जिंक इट इज प्रेजेंट वन पर्सन तो मैं साथ में इस इन एलिमेंट्स का ये भी बता देती हूँ कि ये यूजफुल कैसे है सो आपका फंक्शन ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट ये टॉपिक भी कवर हो जाएगा सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट सिल्वर इट वाइटेंस अलॉय एंड ऑल्सो ये एक्सपेंशन इंक्रीज करता है क्रीप डिक्रीज करता है क्रीप होता क्या है इट इज लाइक टाइम डिपेंडेंट प्लास्टिक डिफॉर्मिटीज वो होती है लाइक व्हेन वी गिव अ लोड तो टाइम डिपेंडेंट प्लास्टिक डिफॉर्मिटी को सिल्वर डिक्रीज करता है एंड आल्सो स्ट्रेंथ इंक्रीज करता है सो नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट टिन सो टिन कंट्रोल करता है रिएक्शन बिटवीन सिल्वर एंड मरकरी एंड आल्सो इट रिड्यूसेस द स्ट्रेंथ सिल्वर बढ़ा रहा था तो काइंड ऑफ इट इवेंट्स द थिंग आउट and copper it increases the strength and also increases the setting expansion and so jo zinc hai it acts like a scavenger or deoxidizer ye elements like silver tin copper in sab ko oxidize nahi hone deta so now we'll talk about setting reaction firstly main roughly samjha deti hu ki setting reaction hota kya hai then i'll tell you the theory part imagine this box Imagine that it is filled with mercury. So this orange, orangey part, this is mercury. So now in this uh, mercury, we'll introduce three things, three parts of a element. सो so, हमने ये सिल्वर एंड टिन के कंपाउंड को मरकरी में काइंड ऑफ इमर्स कर दिया जस्ट इमेजिन दैट सो ये सिल्वर एंड टिन ये बाहर आएंगे इन द मरकरी एंड दे विल रिएक्ट सो लाइक व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इसमें क्या हो रहा है सिल्वर इट विल रिएक्ट विद मरकरी एंड फॉर्म गामा वन फेस दैट इज Ag two, Hg three, and uh, this tin it will also react with mercury and form Sn seven eight Hg that is gamma two phase, and uh, so this copper will be already quite low content me since this is a low copper alloy, so this beach me epsilon will form karega that is Cu three Sn, like its quantity is quite less so this. Yes. सो नाउ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द रिएक्शन वो कैसे होगी सबसे पहले वी हैव सिल्वर एंड टिन दैट वन सेकेंड दैट इज ए जी थ्री एस एन इसको बोलते हैं हम गामा सो इट रिएक्ट विद मरकरी सिंस हमने इसे मरकरी में इमर्स किया था सो फर्स्टली इट इल फॉर्म गामा वन फेस दैट इज सिल्वर एंड मरकरी and it will also form a tin and mercury and also ye uh, silver tin thoda unreacted bhi reh jayega 
that is AG3SN unreacted. So uh, AG3SN it is gamma. AG2HG3 here. This is gamma 1 phase and uh, SN78HG. This is gamma 2 phase. So you have to remember this. So if it will exam in the exam, how to write the third part, I will just tell you. So first point that we will write, that will be, so uh, first point will be, the main reaction of low copper alloy is to produce alloys of gamma 1 and gamma 2 phases. So the second point hoga ki firstly humne bata diya gamma and gamma 2 ban raha hai then gamma 1 that is uh, silver mercury sabse pehle ye kyun ban raha hai since silver it has low solubility than tin so uh, the silver uh, mercury precipitate it will be formed first and then followed by tin mercury precipitate so sil uh, gamma 1 phase that is ag3 ag2 hg3 it will be formed first because silver has less solubility than uh, tin in mercury. So, we uh, low copper alloy and mercury ko 1 is to 1 ratio. Mein lenge. So, what is it? Like uh, mercury ki amount, hai, it is very like insufficient in the context of the alloy particle. So, like uh, the mercury, it won't be able to consume the particle uh, it won't be able to consume the alloy low copper alloy completely so there is some unconsumed low copper alloy present so uh, lastly hum kya uh, so uh, low copper alloy it is a composite in which some unconsumed particles they are embedded in the uh, gamma 1 and gamma 2 phases so, this is related to diagram bhi bana sakte hai, jo I have already showed. I have shown a complete diagram. Mein show kiya, aap ise alag -alag kar sakte hai. First diagram we will show mercury. This is mercury with AgSN. We will show AgSN bahar aa hai. This will be the first diagram. Second will be. So, this is uh, gamma 1 ke, uh, phases. Ban rahe hai. This is gamma 1. वो सबसे पहले एंड सबसे ज्यादा बनेगा सो दिस विल बी सेकंड डायग्राम जिसमें गामा 1 बन रहा है सो so, ये मैंने काफी रफ डायग्राम बनाया है इसमें बीच में यू कैन शो गामा 2 2 सो so, ये गामा 2 गामा 1 से काफी कम होगा एंड बीच में यू कैन शो एप्सिलॉन 2 दैट इज Cu3 SN uh, so ye aap ek separate fourth uh, diagram mein bhi dikha sakte hain like philips book mein four diagrams dikhaye hain jisme epsilon phase alag dikhaya hai but in manapali uh, second uh, like gamma 2 and epsilon ko saath mein uh, bataya so you can do either so that is it for today guys thank you so much for watching if you like my video please like share and subscribe and also comment and share it with your friends thank you